Hi, my name is Nicole Albertson and I'm an Extender Product Specialist with E1 Solutions. Thank you for joining us as we take a look at how to add a field from an extender window with two keys to a report writer report. Let's take a look at how we can add an extender field from a window that has two keys on it to a report writer report. The first thing I want to do is just show you the extender window that we have set up. And what I've done is set up a sales order one that is just going to track who placed the order and some notes on it. It's on the sales transaction entry window, but on the line scroll of that window. And you can see it does have two keys, the SUP number and line item sequence. So that being said, we do have to take that into account when we add it to Report Writer, and it's a little bit different than if we only had one key on the window. So I'll just show you now the actual extender window in use and I'm just going to pull up an order that I've actually entered some extender data onto. And you can see I am pulling in both keys and then I just have some data here and what I want to do is add that data to the report. So the report I want to use is just the order and I'm just going to print it to screen And you can see I've actually made some modifications to this report and I've already added the name of the person who placed the order. I still need to add the order notes to this report. So to do that, I'm just going to click modify and that will bring us into report writer so that we can start our modifications. Once in report writer, we need to actually create a couple of calculated fields with when we have two keys on our window. So the first one we need to do is just to actually create a key calculation that actually adds our multiple keys together into one field. So in my toolbox I'm going to select calculated fields and then I'm going to do a new one and we'll just call this order key and with any extender field that we're trying to add to report writer we want to change the result type to string and then the first thing we need to do is look at what our key fields are. In this case it's SOP number and line item sequence, SOP number is a string field, line item sequence is a integer field. So we need to take that into account because it's going to make a difference as to how we add these fields. So because our first one is SOP number and that's a string, we actually need to find the strip function to strip any spaces off the end of it. So I found the strip and that's under functions system defined and then in the function list it's strip so I'm going to add that one. Now what we need to do is put our field in there being our SOP number so I'm going to go to fields and that's going to be in my sales transaction work table and I'll just find the SOP number there's my SOP number so I'll click add so that's going to strip the SOP number. Now what I need to do is concatenate on my line item sequence. So I need to add the concatenate option, which is just an operator here. So I'm going to click the cat button, adds that pound sign. And now we need to add the line item sequence field. Because that's an integer, it's a little bit different function. So I'm going to go back to functions and the system defined still. But we're going to do the lng underscore str, so the long string. So there that is. I'm going to add that. And now to that one, I'm going to find my line item sequence, which I'm going to go back to fields. And that's not in the sales transaction work. It's in the sales transaction amounts work. So in there, I'm going to find that line item sequence and add that. So all I'm doing is concatenating together the SOP number and the line item sequence in my first calculated field called order key. So I'm going to save that just by saying OK. And now we need to create a second one to actually pull the note field onto our SOP link order form. So I'm going to create a new calculated fee, or field and call it order notes. Again, we're going to change our result type to string. 
The first thing now I need to do, and this is going to be the same as if I had just one field on there, is add the function that will call this data in. So you go to functions, select user defined, for the core list you pick system, and then our function is the rw, RW table header string. So I'm going to go down the list to that. And there that is. I'm going to add that. Now again, the next thing I need to do is add my dictionary ID. So I'm going to do an integer here under constants and add 3107 and click that. And that is just the extender dictionary ID. The next thing we need to add is the name of our extender window. So I'm going to change this to string and type in that name which is just sales orders. And I'm going to add that. Now I need to add the field that is a key on my window and because I had two keys we actually created that other calculated field so instead of adding a true field I'm going to go to fields and pick calculated fields and find that order key and add that. The next thing I need to do, because that is a string key, I need to add just a, an integer of zero. And then I need to tell it the field position of the order notes field that I want to add to my window. And that is actually the second field on my window. So I'm going to put a two there and add. And once I have that, that is all I need to do to add this calculation to report writer so I can pull in that order notes field. So I'm going to say OK on this and now I just need to find that calculated field and drag it onto my report where I want it to be. So let me scroll down on my report and I'm going to put it right here. Now just to make it look like all the others I'm just going to change the font size to 8 so that it is the same. So now if I close this report and save it and go back to GP if I again pull up that sales order that had that extender data on it. I can click print, do my order, and now you can see where I had order notes. Those are pulling in along with the name of the person who placed the order. So that is all we have to do to add a field from an extender window that has two keys. If you need to add multiple fields from that window, you can actually use the same key field, the first calculated field that you create on all of those windows. You don't need to create a key field for each one. You can use the same one for all of them. There are a couple things to note when adding fields from windows to a, a report writer report. You can actually only add the data from the main portion of the extender window. We cannot add the data coming from the detail portion or the data coming from a form or detail portion of a form. So if I look in extender at my window. I can add the data from this portion and this is 2013. I cannot add the data from this scrolling grid to report writer and I cannot add the data from a any sort of form that I might create. If you're on 2010 or 10.0, think of it as you can add it from a window. You cannot add it from a detail window form or detail form. If you're looking for more information or the exact steps I use to add a field to a report writer report from Extender, in the Extender 2013 manual there's actually a whole section on adding data to report writer reports and you'll find a section for the ones with key field, one key field and you'll find a section for the multiple key field reports. So feel free to use those as well and thank you for joining us.